Okay, this is a bit of test and measurement uh, kit that converts a current reading to a voltage. It's a very handy gadget. Unfortunately, I managed to destroy mine. I put too much current through it and I've melted some of the traces. Let me just insert the photograph of this area of the circuit board. Did a little bit of repair, but unfortunately I haven't been able to revive it, so this module is dead. Uh, it looks like a great opportunity, however, to look at the silicon that's on the board. There's three pieces. There's a voltage monitor, which is used to ensure that the battery has enough voltage to create reliable readings. And there's a very generic looking op amp which does a virtual ground function and a very much more expensive looking op amp which does the actual measurement. So I'm going to take these off the board, uh, de-encapsulate them, take a peek at the dies and see what they look like. Well, a bit disappointing here. Uh, if you look at the slide closely, it doesn't look like there's much of anything on it. And you would be right. Uh, it's uh, only one little black speck here. Uh, unfortunately, there should have been three silicon dies, only extracted one. Uh, the other two were lost somewhere in the wash cycle, unfortunately. These are super tiny bits of silicon. I guess I'm going to have to improve my uh, technique for uh, these really small dies. Let's uh, pop up a picture of uh, the one die I was able to extract. And uh, in the center there you can see some uh, text TPS3801. That means that the uh, voltage monitor was the one that uh, was uh, saved and the other ones unfortunately washed down into the drink. Um, that is a three terminal device according to the schematic. You can see up, up pop the die photograph, you can see four pads, so one of the pads doesn't get used. Hmm. Let's uh, zoom into one of the pads. You can see it's got a bit of a crater on it. That's where the uh, bond wire attached. It's not there. It was probably a copper bond wire, so it was dissolved by the acid. Um, let's see, in the lower left, you can see the uh, text uh, 1999, uh, obviously an older design. Not too surprising. Analog circuitry doesn't advance as fast as digital, so Lots of designs that uh, even stretch up to 50 years old are still quite commercially viable. Uh, other than that, I uh, pop up the block diagram. There's an op amp on this thing. There's going to be a voltage reference and some sort of reset logic and an uh, oscillator. It's actually a fairly complicated looking die for uh, the straightforward function that it is. Uh, well, that was it. Unfortunately, just one die in this one and uh, wasn't a hugely uh, fascinating exercise. I was really hoping to see the difference between the two types of op amps. But there we go. Uh, that's what I discovered.